James Watt and the steam engine have revolutionized the world through their advancements in technology and through powering the Industrial Revolution. Sal Mondico, a French engineer, wrote the first article about using steam to force water out of mines. Later, in 1963, the idea of using a steam engine was published in England at the Marquis of Worcester's History of Innovation. After, in 1712, the first record steam engine was created by Thomas Newcomen and Thomas Savory. This steam engine was called an atmospheric engine because it used a mix of atmospheric pressure and steam pressure to power the pistons. The steam engine was primarily used for pumping water out of mines, although the engine was required to have a very large piston in order to pump water out effectively. One engine, made in Russia in 1775, had a 66 inch diameter piston and moved 102 inches vertically. The steam engine was also very expensive to build, which required people to put up capital. These people became the first capitalists. However, over time it saved money to use a steam engine instead of paying people and horses to move water out of mines. Steam engines work by burning coal, which then boils water and turns into steam. The steam expands the water volume by 1600 times and the steam moves the pistons back and forth. Later, James Watt created the first practical and efficient steam engine. His improvements on the steam engine allowed it to be used in boats, trains, and also farther advancements in the Industrial Revolution. These advancements continued the Industrial Revolution and allowed for many more advancements in technology. Watt worked for the University of Glasgow in Scotland. He made scientific instruments and worked with a group of young scientists. One of these scientists, named Dr. John Robinson, had an idea of using Newcomen's engine to move carriage wheels. Later, Watt remembered Robinson's idea and decided to repair one of Newcomen's engines that was owned by the university. While repairing the engine, Watt discovered that it wasted too much steam because some of the steam was released into the atmosphere while going through the cylinder. Watt also discovered that when cold water was sprayed into the cylinder, not all the steam was convinced, which then created a vacuum resisting the piston from coming back down. Watt patented his steam engine in 1769. Watt's engine used a separate condenser which saved 75% fuel and allowed the piston to move through steam pressure in both directions. Watt also created a governor, mercury steam gauge, and crank flywheel mechanism later. Originally, John Buck helped fund James Watt's steam engine, but in 1775, Watt partnered with Matthew Bolton instead. Matthew Bolton owned an engineering company in Birmingham. Watt and Bolton created steam engines and became one of the most well-known engineering companies. Most of their domain came from mine owners, but later expanded towards paper, flour, and many other types of companies. In 1785, they were both elected to join the Royal Society. After James Watt published his steam engine, it was then developed more to be used for transportation through boats and trains. Steam engines required coal to fuel the engine, which rapidly expanded the coal industry, especially when steam engines were incorporated into boats and other machines. The steam engine allowed for advancements in technology that is still often used today, such as cars, trains, and many other machines. The steam engine played a major role in the Industrial Revolution because it demonstrated a new and more advanced machine that was adapted to many other machines. Also, Watt's invention allowed for the creation of trains and railroads, which helped continue the Industrial Revolution. Trains and boats allowed for the expansion in trade and relationships between countries due to their ease of movement of resources and people. Without his invention, we would not have as complex industry or technology as we do today. The majority of automated machines can be traced back to James Watt and his futuristic views of the steam engine. Although we have experienced many benefits from the steam engine innovation, there has unfortunately been a few downsides to it. For example, the steam engine has led to increased levels of air pollution, which some would argue has led to health issues. Although there has been downsides to the steam engine, the benefits have greatly outweighed them.